Namaste everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the redirection. There is a really popular saying that rejection is redirection. And I feel it's very true because the universe never rejects you. It always redirects you to something better. But the ego is very short-sighted. Whenever you come across a rejection in any aspect of your life, you feel that you are rejected instantly you come under the energy of fear and you start thinking that there is something wrong with you that you did something wrong that maybe the universe is punishing you so this mindset that something is punishing me through this rejection is because of our conditioning the conditioning of reward and punishment we only think of life in these two terms reward and punishment good and bad right and wrong we live in duality but the way the universe functions is very different. It's never punishing you. Everything is happening for your own highest good. I understand that sometimes because we are going through a rough time, we feel the rejection is the end of life. It can be a relationship, it can be a job, it can be any area of your life. But rejection means failure for a lot of people. That they are a failure. That they are nothing. Because it's very deep rooted from the childhood, the reward and punishment system. And we live in a world where when we are rejected, we are made to feel guilty. It instantly comes up and the system uses that against you, especially the corporate consciousness. It uses this guilt and fear to exploit you, to make you feel more bad about yourself. And through that, they control you. So when you start realizing your worth, when you start loving yourself, you will see your spirit will make your ego reject everything that is not in alignment. And that may look like a complete collapse of old reality, of old relationships. Because you're vibrating higher now, you have evolved and you no longer belong in the old spaces, in the old energies. It's like you are too big for that small space. You have expanded your consciousness. So when the change actually unfolds in our lives, we become afraid of it because change begins with breaking apart of the old. So the ego becomes fearful and maybe you were trying to get out of that old because on some level you knew that it was toxic, it was not healthy, it was not serving you, it was not a reflection of your self-love because you were being used there, you were being exploited there energetically. So universe is just pushing you out of your comfort zone. It's pushing you. It's giving you a final push so that you choose yourself, so that you do what's best for you. The ego will never do that. It has so many fears. It has so much conditioning. It never has the confidence. It rarely has that to do the right thing, to choose yourself over everything else. So that's why the universe gives you a push. It's making you let go of everything that's not serving you anymore. That's why you needed this redirection. Because you were staying still for a lot of time. You became stagnant because of it. And when we become stagnant, we no longer see that what it feels like to flow. We become used to that stagnancy. We become used to that toxic energy. So to help you move out of that, in the physical world, it may seem that you are rejected. But from a higher perspective, you are redirected. To something better it's always better to move in the right direction instead of staying in the space where you feel stagnant where you feel you are not growing where you are not respected where your energy is not valued that's why redirection is so important because now you have the direction you are moving somewhere you are moving in the right direction at least you're moving in the direction of your spirit the first step feels like breaking apart of the things. The next step is moving in the right direction. Even if you take little steps in the beginning, just focus on that. Do your best and don't be desperate. The thing is, when we are rejected, the fear comes up and to suppress that fear and you don't want to look at that fear. So we become desperate. We become desperate to hold something, to grab something. And in that desperation, we end up making choices that are not good for you. Don't become desperate. Process that fear, sit with it. Don't start running. Don't freak out. Become present and let go. Surrender. Understand 
that you can't figure it out. Don't be in a rush to figure everything out. Instead, let go of your control and surrender. You were keeping that reality up because of your control. Now it's time to relinquish your control. Let it go. Surrender. This is the first step. When you're going through the redirection, when you are just encountering the rejection, first let it go. Don't be desperate, don't be controlling, don't be in a rush, in a hurry. Just let it go. Surrender. Process it. Instead of just trying to suppress that fear by doing some action, by being desperate, surrender. Become present. Let it go. There is no rush. There is no deadline. There is no timeline. It's okay to process what you have gone through. Release that fear. Connect your emotional body. Maybe it's a good time to release the past build up trauma that's stopping you from stepping into your highest version. And when you let go, you will have a centeredness. You will become calm and composed, which will help you to make better choices, make better decisions, which will naturally help you to align with the right things. So let go. Don't try to control everything. Just surrender. This is the first step. So the next thing is after spending time in that calm space, after settling down, figure out what you actually want. This is a great time to redesign your reality. When the universe is giving you a chance to redirect your energy, redirect your life, it's a time to redesign your life. What is it that you actually want? Sit with yourself. Ask yourself this question. What makes me truly happy? What do I really want? Not what other people want me to have. What the society wants me to have. What do I actually want with myself and my life? Sit with yourself. And now just create a vision that how can I manifest that? How can I go about it? And just start taking little steps in that direction. Now at least you have the right direction. You are not all over the place. When you're desperate, you're all over the place. And now you have the direction, you have the vision, and you just have to keep making the effort in the right direction. Eventually, you will end up where you belong. But the problem is, we never take the steps in the right direction. We take the steps in the direction of what other people want us to do, what our conditioning is, but never what our heart wants us to follow. You have to go in that direction. That is true redirection. You turn rejection into redirection when you take steps in the right direction, the direction of your spirit. When you allow the universe to change the entire direction of your life, to change how you go about your life. It should be about transformation. It should not be about settling down. When you're rejected and if you settle down for even less, You are not becoming empowered. You are not opening yourself up to the universe. It's a chance to redirect your energy to something that you always wanted. So redesign it. Take step towards it. And be confident with yourself. This is a very important point. Trust your strengths. Trust yourself. Trust who you are. See yourself as worthy. The problem is that when we are rejected, our self-esteem, it takes a toll. We are unable to believe in ourselves. Because of all the fear, we become blindsided. We start thinking that we are not capable. But the reality is that you are capable. If your soul has a plan for you, if you follow that, you come with everything that you need for that journey. You have everything inside of you. You have that capability to walk that path. But you need the confidence, you need the trust in yourself. And that comes by believing in yourself, by not believing in your fears. Don't believe in your fears, believe in yourself, in your journey, in your capabilities, in your strengths. Focus on them and do your best. Just keep taking the steps. No matter how small they are, how big they are, at least it's in the right direction. At least it's in the direction of what you actually want to do. You are not suffocating yourself. You are not getting exploited by some corporate consciousness. You are doing something that you actually want to do. 
that's what matters that's what it's all about the universe wants to give you the experience that you want it's always supporting you it wants to redirect you in the path of your own spirit its plan is never against you it's for you you think that its plans are against you when things are breaking apart because you think your plans your spirit's plan are your ego's plan but it's not the truth your ego's plan are very different it's very controlling it's trying to seek validation from the system it's trying to fit in it's trying to do something which is in alignment with everyone else is doing what the collective unconscious is doing but what the universe has planned for you is actually your truth it doesn't care about facades about what you want to project it cares about your soul and it will align you with that again and again it will give you opportunities through all the rejections to align and become redirected to something that your soul craves it's always there for you but the ego thinks when things are falling apart i am doing something wrong i am guilty of something because that's what the system wants you to think so that you can be controlled empowerment is realizing that it has nothing to do with you you have the right to choose yourself you deserve to be valued and to go in that direction and to accept and love yourself for who you are is the ultimate freedom so let go surrender from a calm and composed mind rediscover yourself redesign your life ask yourself the question which will help you to improve and transform your life and then believe in yourself have faith in yourself and just keep taking action in that right direction redirect your energy in that right direction focus all your energy channel all your energy in doing your best and let the universe take care of the rest don't worry about the outcome the result just keep doing your best and eventually you will end up where you belong where your soul will feel in alignment where you will manifest things that your ego can't even think of right now so i hope you enjoyed this video you can like comment share you can also support my work by hitting the thanks button and please make sure to subscribe see you in the next video much love to you all